bit, bit heavier than light peat smoke. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today is the first video in the new studio where I do a tasting. And for that, I have a very premium Indian single malt from the Goa region. And it's the Paul John Selected Peated Cask. How do they call it? Peated Select Cask. Here you can see it. It's a, it's a high strength whiskey, whiskey with 55% ABV. And all the malt doesn't come from uh, the northern regions of India, where they usually come from. But this time it all comes from Scotland. And we can suspect that they are from Port Ellen because it is a highly peated whiskey. And you can taste the peat. I had tried it at the distillery. Um, it was very, very hot there. And that, that climate and that uh, feeling that you have when you run around the distillery all day and it's 40 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, 100, 110 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And it's really hot, you're sweating all day and you still drink a lot, but you're still de dehydrated. That has really a big effect on your on your taste buds. So I will probably have a very much different uh, experience trying this whiskey in this uh, well-climated studio. So um, it will be different because it's just a different feeling at the distillery and a different climate there. What else does this bottle have? This bottle is a, a non-chill fil non filtered bottle, no chill filtering going on. Um, it's no coloring. It's not written on any legal text on there, but it's, uh, it is non-chill filtered. And it was matured in ex bourbon casks. The Paul John distillery experiments with sherry casks but uh, this is a batch from, I don't know, six years ago, something like that, or four, six years, something like that. Five, four, uh, four, five, six years. And that means uh, they didn't have the sherry butts yet. So all ex bourbon, non chill filter, no coloring, and no age statement. Um, that's due to the maturation of India. India, you have a very, very, very high angel share um, due to the fact that they have a very high temperature. You have a lot of evaporation and a lot of evaporation of the alcohol. Um, some people might say, okay, you have a very humid climate, so there's a lot of water in there. How can the alcohol um, evaporate quickly there? Um, the alcohol can evaporate, the water cannot evaporate quickly. So it's not like in Kentucky, where when you have a, uh, a cask in the very top of the uh, warehouse, that the uh, water evaporates faster and the alcohol doesn't evaporate as fast and the alcohol rises. In India, the uh, water cannot evaporate as fast as it can in other climates because of the uh, high humidity. So the alcohol evaporates faster and you lose a lot of the alcohol and you lose the alcohol even percentage wise. So um, that's why they don't carry an age statement because they can't mature the, the whiskey as long as in, let's say, Scotland, because they would lose too much of their stuff and they would have no whiskey left, or they would have a whiskey left that would be, let's say, 38% um, and that's not a whiskey. So uh, enough said, um, let's have a try. Carried it in my suitcase, so there's a bit of a, a few scratches on the label. It is uh, limited. They do the limited editions, um, I think, yearly, but um, they have really limited amounts of casks because they use the best casks. So if you want uh, to know what what the John Distillery is its maximum uh, capability of making a good whiskey. That's a good example of it. I think there are limited editions for non-peated as well. Maybe I'll have them in the future. Oh, and from the first smell, light peat smoke. Yeah, a bit, bit heavier than light peat smoke. It's not as um, a Highland Park peat smoke, but more of a, yeah. One of the lesser PT Isla malts. Oh, but it's, it 
it's definitely a smokiness. It's not it's not maritime, it's more of a a bonfire, barbecue smoke smokiness. You have a lot of sweetness going on, a lot of sweetness, sugary, a bit of a cereal touch, a bit of a bit of a maltiness. Also a little fruitiness, but just a hint of fruitiness. Mm. Really intense, 55.5% ABV, that's 110, uh, 111 proof, really intense. Mm. A smokiness, again, not that phenolic, a bit phenolic, but I would, mm, with the sweetiness, it really reminds me of a, a good and sweet barbecue sauce, mm. with that hickory touch. A little spiciness, mm. yes, mm. with but the sweetness is overwhelming, and you have a bit of a a mouth feel that's a bit um, soft, velvety. And in India, I had that quite a lot. I always thought that was because it's so hot and uh, sweated so much, uh, because the distillery is not climated, uh, doesn't have a have an AC. Um, mm. So I thought that's because of my dehydration, but there is a silky touch going on with this whiskey. It's um, it's not as strong as when you tried in India, though. Mm. Yeah, a really mm. Mm. a really fine single malt from India. I have to say. The finish, medium. It's not a long finish where you have like a sherry touch and it goes uh, over to a, a smokiness. You don't have that. It's medium long, but the intensity and the flavor and the complexity is definitely there. Yeah, very interesting. So if you'd like to know more about the John Distillery, then please feel free to visit whiskey.com. Uh, and have a look at the video I made about the distillery or other John distillery um, bottles and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>